Hey, this is Frank. We're looking at the top of the head of a 3 liter V6 1MZ FE Toyota engine. In a previous video, we've installed the head gasket on this head. And in this video, we're going to replace the camshafts back on the head. The factory service manual indicates two things we must do when reinstalling the camshaft. One is we must apply engine oil to the journals and the camshaft. So we're going to be slathering this up um, at all the journal surfaces with uh, engine oil. And the other thing is specifies is the position of the timing mark. You see the single dot on this exhaust. Hope you can see it right there, maybe. So this single dot must be placed at 90 degrees. So in the horizontal plane of the head, so to speak. I've got some oil in this cap and I'm gonna just put it all over everything. Then I'm going to go and do the same with the camshaft. So this camshaft has been thoroughly oiled up. I'm going to locate the mark, the single dot mark. And it already has a paint mark on it from the factory. And I'm going to just, uh, just going to very carefully place this down where it goes there it fell right into place and the dot here is at about 90 degrees so now we can move on to the next step which is to reinstall the caps for this camshaft before installing the caps we're going to install the oil seal for the camshaft she goes right here and it should just slip right on. The package contains two of these oil seals. I'm going to apply a little bit of oil right here on the lip and then this will slip right on until it bottoms out. So there it is. We have it right where it needs to go. So I've placed these bearings just lightly in the position where they need to go. And each bearing has a label on it. This one is E4. So that's one, two, three, four. And it has an arrow on it that points to the front so that's how it should be positioned. Now, this number one bearing, uh, it's indicated that it should have some RTV placed on these surfaces here before the bearing, uh, I mean before the cap is installed uh, onto uh, on where it goes. So we're going to clean this up and put the RTV on and then put it back on. So here's the process of snugging them down. I just do this all by hand because we don't want to over tighten or damage anything.
So they have all been snugged. Now I can tighten them with the torque wrench. The order for doing these with the torque wrench, starting from the center, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The torque is 12 foot pounds. Okay, after this pass, I've just snugged them. I've not reached the specified torque yet. So let's take them a little further. So they've all clicked. Now I'm gonna make one more pass just to verify. Okay, so this camshaft is all good. So now it's time to install the intake camshaft. And this intake camshaft has a single dot mark right here that must match up with the single dot mark on this camshaft right here. So first, I'm going to bathe the camshaft surfaces and journals with oil, and then I'm going to gently uh, put it in place. So how I did that was to line up the marks. I just guessed where it would have to go in and then I rotated it right in. So these cams go on I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, all the arrows point this way. We're gonna put the bolts in, snug them down and then torque them. Okay, the bolts are all finger tight, and we're going to torque them with the torque wrench, same torque, 12 foot-pounds. Let's see what the order is. The order for these bolts is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So they've all clicked. We're going to make one more pass just to verify. Okay, we verified the torque. Just as a final sanity check before we close it up, we verify that the timing marks are still aligned single dot to single dot. And Yes, they are. And here's a close-up of the timing mark alignment. This shows the exhaust gears engaged with the intake gear and with the service bolt in place. And once the cam caps are all torqued down, this bolt, the service bolt, can be removed. At this point, the valve cover is ready to go back on. Okay, so these bolts are all tightened down. The valve cover is back on. I hope we don't have to take it off again. We're gonna do the other head off camera, and then we'll return to do the timing belt. Thank you for watching.